The Square Ball Podcast. Propaganda is the show that's brought to you with Levi Solicitors. LeviSolicitors.co.uk forward slash The Square Ball. Dan, Michael and Rob with you for uh, part two of the show where technically we should be finding out what the opposition fans thought about the game at the Etihad. Do we have any desire to address that whatsoever? No. <laughs> I mean, a few things here. It's uh, We were back in here a few hours after recording last night, so normally I have like a, a day to go through and listen to what they've said. Didn't really want to do that anyway, but I only had a few hours as, as it was, and I also had to collate things from... Uh, from the Leeds fans and also write a little bit for the mag. So instead of listening to them, I've I've done my own quiz for this part. Good stuff. Do you need any theme music for it? You... <laughs> um, give us a, give us a little stab just for a, just because I know you've set it up. This. There you go. Here's Great. Michael Normanson. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, I prefer that to the the long version, to be honest. Well, this what? no, I won't do it. <laughs> no. Um, apart from, we don't want to get demonetized again no, either by true, uh, yeah. by YouTube. So, um, yeah. So I know you went for the high end of Man City's yep. uh, squad. I was just looking through at other players they've signed, players you have maybe never heard of. So all of these, well, I've got, the way I've structured this is there are five Manchester City players who they have paid more than £5 million for. Right. And there are five dance champions <laughs> on this list. What's a dance champion? People who've won ballroom dancing right. titles, that sort of a thing. Uh, you just have to tell me which they are. Have are you they... not got a snappy name for this, like dancer or... Uh... No. Footballer or... <laughs> no. Uh, like I said, I was pushed for time. Yeah. <laughs> and it's well, quite... let's have a think about it. If, any, it. if anyone listening does think of a good one, send it to us, and we can retrospectively um, you... address it, or we'll have a think while we're playing it. And... You can do this as a team if you want, or individually. It's up to you. Probably just confer, I think. Football yeah. or ballroom? Football or... Fo- baller or ballroom? Baller or ballroom. Right? Yep. That'll do, won't Fo- it? Footballer or... Yeah. So, number one... <laughs> Pedro Porro. Pedro Porro. If you might have heard of one of these players, I'm not sure I hadn't personally. I feel like sort of years of playing too much football manager is going to stand me in good stead here. <laughs> he sounds like a regen, does Pedro Porro. Uh, I don't know. I, th- I think he is a, a random that they've signed. What a footballer, you think? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'll go with Rob. Okay. Number two. No, wait, 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 I'll, 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 I'll write it down. Because yeah, right. there are five of each, so I don't want to give it away because that'll obviously allow you to. Right. Uh, I'll have to narrow it down as we yeah. go. Um, Arunas Bizokas. Arunas. Now, see, that to me sounds like a footballer. I don't know why. I, I, I'm, I'm less <laughs> convinced by that one, but it could be anything. Oh, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like Rob's cheated by playing football manager. What do you feel there, Rob? I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bend to your knowledge here. Cause I, I'm... I can't think of uh, seeing him in the depths of football manager. Mm. So I'd, I'd go ballroom. Okay, we'll go ballroom on that. Number three is Ricardo Cochi. Ricardo Cochi. C O C C H I. C O C C H I. Feels a lot like looking down a list of Leeds loanees. <laughs> Did he play? Uh, I don't have a clue on that one. Um, ballroom? Should we go ballroom? Yeah. A ballroom. Number four. Nahuel Bustos. That's a footballer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> With a name like that. Confidence from Dan. <laughs> what position does he play? <laughs> in the in the utility man. He sort of he drifts really. He's a utility man. Yeah, he's sometimes out wide, well, sometimes Dallas. through the middle. Sometimes he'll go forward, sometimes he'll be back. It all depends on, you know, situations in a game. Mm. Number four, Michael Malatowski. That was number four. Oh. <laughs> Number five, of course. Great. Michael Malatowski. Malatowski. What, what are you feeling, Rob? Well, I'm putting all the ones that I don't know as ballroom, but I feel like that's probably not the best <laughs> idea, so I might just go footballer on this one. You're saying footballer. Well, there are five of each, so you might be able to narrow it down okay. afterwards. Um, number six is Diego Rosa. This is actually really difficult. Yeah. I was, I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to Google him. No! You can't <laughs> Google him. That's cheating. Very clearly cheating. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Which one do you reckon it is, Dan? I, that's a football. Oh, really? Okay. Nice yeah. No, you've yeah, Googled I'm, it. I, now it I'll go with that, I think yeah. that 19-year-old lad from Brazil. Um, if you've got that hunch, I'll back you. Because he's, he's on loan at Lommel at the minute. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, that one, yeah. He is. He is, you're right. <laughs> what about number seven, Ante Palaversa? Just for the record, I would have actually put him down as a footballer. He sounds like a footballer, does Diego Rossa. What about Ante Palaversa? I can dance her there. Mm. Go on then, next. Number eight, Filip Stefanovic. That is a very regen name. Like you've put two footballers together there. Yeah, there's there's another one coming up. What are you going for that? Sounds then? a lot like oh, a regen oh, name. I am going to go footballer. Footballer. Right. Were these dancers you got just from your your favourite list of dancers? Was it? Uh, correct. Yeah. Although I've realised in my <laughs> in my haste to put this together, I've got so I've got one dancer on it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so there's a nine there's nine questions actually. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, number 10, this is a great re region name. Oh, this is number 9, I haven't got 10, this is number uh, 9. Number 9, sorry, yeah, it's number 10 on my list because I've got, <laughs> because I've got someone on twice. Uh, Fernando Rodriguez. Oh, that's a good one, because he, he could be... That's a uh, very generic football name, isn't it? It's also a generic dancer name, isn't it? Mm. Fernando... So the classic quiz with nine questions. <laughs> I'm trying to count out. I was doing the this five, as... Five split, but I, it's not going to I've happen. heard, you know... Um, they're thinking about tweaking the decimal system, aren't they? You know, like yes. monetary and stuff, making it units of nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I was doing this as I was leaving the house, and I think right. it, I think it's probably it's just shown now. But so, um, so is he a dancer that's been involved in a marriage breakup, maybe at some point? Who? Sorry, the, the Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Or is he? Is he a young South American starlet? Mm, could be either, couldn't he? He's, he's going to have good hips either way, isn't he? I've right, got, I've got five dancers and four footballers here. Yeah, I've got one, two, three. I've got four dancers and five footballers. Let's, let's go through them then. Pedro Porro. Pedro Porro. Uh, okay, you have, you got, have you got details? I've on got. Card? I've got a bit of detail. Oh, I've got right. a bit of bio about each of them. I think he is a footballer. Dan, were you? Were I went. You? I went footballer. I'm, he yeah. is. They paid ten point eight million pounds for him <laughs> from Girona. He's a right back, and he's currently on loan at Sporting Club de Portugal, which is. Sporting Lisbon, as yep. they are known. But ten point eight million pound. Has he ever played for City? No. Right. I don't think any of them have ever played. Oh well. Let me I just want to look at him. Pedro Pardo, you spell his surname? Ped P O Double R O. P O Double R O. Uh, just having a look at him there. He could be on the ballroom circuit. Easily. Well, I mean I don't know if he isn't as well. I'm not sure he'd have the time. But I think the from trying to um Look out who's won ballroom competitions. I think ballroom has been affected by COVID as well because there, there seems to be some competitions don't seem to have uh, taken place last year. And it's, a lot of them don't have any kind of Wikipedia either. It's, it was quite difficult to find the dancers. You've been looking for like the League Cup of ballroom dancing. <laughs> Papa John's. Basically, yeah. Um, number two, Arunas Bizokas. I went for dancer there. We yeah, dancer. I did too. You're correct. He's um, born in Lithuania. He's a professional ballroom dancer who's currently representing the USA. He's... Current partner is uh, Katusha Demidova. As a couple, they won the 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 ballroom dance championships. It's good, isn't it? So he's kind of, he's very European Super he's League. Like the PSG of ballroom mm. dancing. Ah, good. Uh, number three, uh, Ricardo Cochi. You see, he's going to be a footballer, isn't he? But I've put him down as a dancer. Oh, I've put dancer. He is a dancer. Oh, he, he was also on my list twice. <laughs> but yes, he is. He's a ten times. He's from Italy, and he's a ten times undefeated Latin dance champion. Ricardo Cochi. How do you spell his name? Um, Ricardo Coconut Rum. <laughs> That's it. That's the fella. Cochi. How do you spell it? Uh, C O double C H I. H I. Let's have a look at him. Because I've got kids, I find it really hard to not spell things in a childish way. Now I want to go curly cur. Oh, <laughs> curly cur, curly cur. <laughs> oh yeah, he's. Uh... He's a ballroom dancer. A uh, Latin dancer, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Nahuel Bustos. Uh, I think footballer there. Oh, I've gone dancer there. He was a footballer. Oh. Well, he is a footballer. He's a 23-year-old striker that they paid £5.85 £5 million for and then immediately moved into Girona. <laughs> What's his name? First name? Um, Nahuel. N-A-H-U-E-L. Nahuel Bustos. So a 23-year-old striker from Argentina. Again, um, could easily be a uh, Latin dancer. What are they doing looking? buying him? Like he's never going to play for him, is he? He's not even. Yeah. He wasn't even brilliant in Argentina. Looking at his stats, <laughs> um, number five, Michael Malitowski. Mm, I keep thinking of Roman Malinowski, who's the player that we were linked with. But um, I'm going to go. Uh, 
I think I put footballer, but I'm starting to think dancer maybe now. I have put football. footballer. He's a 41-year-old from Poland. He won his 2000 and 2009 World Professional Latin title. Um, and in 2012, him and his partner won the, the Latin dance um, at the Blackpool Dance Festival. Yeah, in the old ballroom there. Mm. Yeah. I think say he's a 41-year-old from Poland who plays for cities under 23s <laughs> with Scott Carson. <laughs> So, uh, number six, Diego Rosa. We we know, I think we got that right, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, you did, of course, yes. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, paid five five point four million pounds for him from Gremio. Don't need him, do they? Just send him out to Belgium. Why not? <laughs> um, Ante Palaversa. Uh, got to be a dancer. Yeah, I've got a dancer. No, 5.67 million from Hyduck Split in oh. 2019. Uh, they've since loaned him back to Hyduck Split and then Oostend, Getafe, and he's currently in Kortrijk which is Belgium. I need to play more football manager, I think. So there you go. Um, Felipe, what's his motto? Filip Stefanovic. Footballer or dancer? I he's, went football. He's going to be a dancer, isn't he? I went footballer, though. He is a footballer. Oh, good. 6.7, 6, 7.65 million they paid for him. From? Uh, Partizan Belgrade. And then they loaned him straight back to Partizan Belgrade, and now he's at Heron Vane. Right. Again, 6.75 million quid whatever jump change in it for them absolutely not bothered about it and finally number nine finally um fernando rodriguez right it's a very footballery name i've gone ballroom dancer yeah correct uh alongside carla rossi he won the mundial de tango in Do you know what that stands is, for uh world tango exactly cup yeah. i was gonna tell you championships but, yeah, you got there first <laughs> um, <laughs> the old uh <laughs> tango the trophy. Tango Trophy Shield. Yeah, um, yeah he was in the, the salon category. Yeah, that? that's room, isn't it? Yes. I don't know what, where the others were dancing. There was salon and something else. I can't remember. Salon and stage, I think. Salon category. Um, within It was very much within Tango as a category. Um, oh, this is beauty salons. This is not Carlo, Carlo Rossi as well needs some credit. He was his, his partner for that. Um, so I scored there. The, uh, one, two, three, four... I've got six, famous six out of nine score. I've also Good. got six out of nine, yeah. Not bad. What's Not that bad. as a percentage, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Percentages out of hundreds, you don't do that. Yeah. I give every, I, I only go to 90% and you got you got 60% out, out of 90%, 90%, which is the way <laughs> the way percentages work now. Let's have a look. What are the six classification of dances? It must be something to do with salon. I don't say anything about salon. You've made that up. Uh, there was there was definitely there were two winners listed for each year that I found. Um, Tango they, de Salon. Oh, it's related to that. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand dancing. Tango de Salon. <laughs> you can. It's, there's not an awful lot about um, dancing. I think because it's on BBC, I thought it'd be like a big thing. The old ballroom <laughs> dancing. <laughs> People seem to like that, but um, the the kind of your everyday ah, ballroom fan. I've got it right. Bear, bear with me. Uh, tango styles got a website on it tango de salon uh the term tango de salon refers to a variety of social dance styles including via urquija uh milonguero and club style tangos that are danced socially in salons rather than for exhibition like fantasia or tango okay. escenario or in improper venues um, I can only think of Vic Reeves doing a club style <laughs> tango. <laughs> Traditional tango de salon requires that dancers exercise respect for the line of dance, but the embraces and characteristic movements can vary considerably across individual styles. Uh, outside Argentina, what is sometimes called salon style tango may refer to those other ones that I said before that I'm not going to repeat, or a blend of them. Oh, so there, there you go. go. Yeah. Well, in, to finish off this Man City section, um, <laughs> someone asked uh, <laughs> Michelle Norwomanton. Someone has submitted as their name. Did you see I'm a Celebrity? Anyone? Sadly not. Bit of it. No. Saw so, um, that last from the Saturdays, uh, shivering like a shitting dog and drinking some eyeballs, and that was about it. Okay. Uh, and Adrian says, what's your favourite pub in Leeds? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get out much. No. <laughs> Brudenell's always good. Yeah. Brudenell's good. Is it technically a pub? Mm. Cardigan Arms is good on Kexler Road. That is good. It's a proper pub. It's slightly less terrifying than it used to be as well. <laughs> my sister used to live near there, and in, in the old days, there was, there was I once got talking to a, a man new fan called Wayne, actually, who was telling me he just got out of prison. Oh, nice. You sort of, you sort of get talking to someone, and you think, hmm, have, nice, have a good night, mate. I'm, uh, I'm, I, 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 we're, we're booked in the um, restaurant. So we're gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, which one? I'll come with you. <laughs> yeah, it was the what's it called? The tapas place next door. Oh, uh, not Revolution to Cuba. It was Cuba de 
something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So we're in there, but I'll oh, go for a drink first. Terrifying way. And instead, <laughs> um, where else is good in Leeds? Three legs, obviously a classic. Yeah. The garden gate in Hunslow. Have you ever been there? No, I'm not. It's a really odd, it's like built in the middle of a housing estate and there's like a perfectly preserved Victorian pub. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's quite nice in the middle of it all. Viva Cuba. Viva Cuba. That's, well, that's it. That's the old uh, And Steve says, um, should we talk about last season's win? Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, there is that as well to cover off, isn't it? And do you know, actually, last night's absolute dicking does frame what we did there last season. I know they were slightly depleted and they cheated by putting Kevin De Bruyne on the bench last season, so we didn't have to face him. But what a monumental achievement to beat them there last season on their way to the. They, did they win the league title? Yes, let's say yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, and to do it with ten men, unbelievable. Yeah. But maybe because it, it, I think it's Moscow's written, hasn't he? The match report where it kind of forced us into, uh, forced us into being more compact and to defend on the edge of our area. Whereas last night we were just wide open. <laughs> just keep pushing forward, except we can't. Keep uh, trying to push forward, having the ball taken off you and letting them score. Well, there we go. That's the Man City reaction. That is the Man City reaction. What do you think of that? Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Good. I'm, I feel like we've all learned something anyway about. Salon, the uh, the Tango de Salon, whatever it was. Mm. Who's uh, your favourite dance rock artist? Um, who's, probably, the, who's the best? Probably going to say. Uh, you can't look past Bizoka, I don't think, yeah, given his uh, given his titles. I mean, I scribbled these down really quickly, so I'm struggling to read my own writing. Uh, I didn't bother writing them down, so I'll go with a guy who's got the Bayern <laughs> Munich record. <laughs> I, th- I, mean, I quite like Fernando Rodriguez. Although I don't know. If, I oh don't, no, he was a footballer. Wasn't he? <laughs> I don't understand how, biz- how ballroom dancing works because Bizokas is from Lithuania, but he's representing America. Has he done that? Is that a cynical ploy? Is he is he cashing Turn in coat. on? Is, isn't that what Martina Navratilova did? did All she he not? cares about is the Yankee dollar, <laughs> and he's going after it for the in Somewhere. the ballroom. Yeah. What's your favourite style of dancing? Uh, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lap. <laughs> that's when I'm doing it <laughs> <laughs> on that I'm image look, yeah. I'm just looking at uh, at uh, Bazookas oh, he's a, not what I imagined actually let's have a look it's very, uh, he's, got a, he's got a big big old chin on him well, I, I suppose it's the ballroom style isn't it there's a normal picture of him but there he's pointing okay. his you've got to point your chin I think haven't you when you're doing the I don't know I don't know it's beyond my uh, my understanding well should we wrap it up there then should we get into uh, ballroom dancing you do it That's pet? the next part of the pod, isn't it? The preview of the uh, big weekend. Preview of the yeah, line, it's the stri- strictly line. final, isn't it, this week? I dare say Bielsa would be pleased at us um, talking about like Argentinian Something else. Ta- well, Argentinian tango. <laughs> it's a rich part of his cultural heritage, isn't it? I'm sure he enjoys the, the passion of the dance and what it represents and all that kind of jazz. Move, move. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we, uh, we'll wrap it up there then, I think. That was propaganda for Man City. I hope you enjoyed a slight change of direction. It was more fun for us anyway, wasn't it? And that's the important thing. I think everyone needs a bit of a break, don't they? Okay. And um, we've got to go in and record uh, Heroes and Villains now, haven't we? Because we've done a weird split show yeah. and stuff. So we've got to talk about more misery Brilliant. in that. And some praise for players who did well against Chelsea, <laughs> who we now hate. <laughs> so Great stuff. So yeah, tune in for that. Don't miss out. We'll see you in a bit. The Square Ball Podcast.